Hello everyone, how's it going? So if you guys remember last video I was showing you guys my pond and sump filtration and I thought I'd go ahead and show you a little more on that media tray and how you guys can build one. So this is what I'm doing, Brian. Still got some mulch left, a bit to do on that. Woo woo, LRV show, thanks. Licks Nibbles. <laughs> Nice name there. All right. Is this the thing we talked about the other day, bro? Yeah, Joel. This is what we talked about the other day. So I decided I'd go ahead and make a video for you. Maybe this will help you out. All right. So this is what I did. It's, this is just a Sterilite, like, folder holder. Whatever you want to call it. Kind of like paper tray or whatever. And you can get them with more levels than this so you could even get even more filtration out of it and easily just cut out this with a box knife that way you can have your outflow from either your tank or pond that just goes there you just put your pipe over that easy simple cut cut chop chop and you can put pretty much anything in here you could put peat moss you can put bio balls like that ceramic then I put foam down here. Now, to get the water to trickle, I drilled holes on the bottom all over the place. You can see it a little better. Let me pull this out. And that's just a mixture of bio balls. I got that from all old canister filters that I wasn't using. Like I got a whole graveyard up there of them since I don't really use many of them. So it could be wet dry too. You can have half of it up out of the water and part of it in the water. The one I have outside, it's pretty much wet dry because only the bottom gets in the water because of the pump. But you can see this is probably the most work you have to do is drilling the holes. But once you get going, I mean, it's not too bad. And these, I got these for like eight cents a piece. Big owls, I think they messed up on their website one day. I got them for super cheap. Anyways, left this one open, which you can put something down there too and just cut like the this front plate out. That way water can just come right out. And I mean, pretty easy, pretty peasy. Not a whole lot to it. And cheap and easy. Which you gotta love that. And it's not cheap in the bad way. All right, poor connection. I don't know if you guys are still here on the chat or not. But I wanted to show you guys that real quick. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. And right now, I'm actually in the middle of changing some water. So if you guys want to see the uh, new water system actually add some water, we can do that. Let's turn this on. See, I've got valves to each one. These are already open. I keep them open before I turn it on just to keep the pressure off the valves. So right now I'm actually got water going into four tanks. It'll take it a little while to do the four tanks. Probably about, I would say 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And you can see the water level rising a little bit. It was pretty nice that I could actually fill multiple tanks up. And uh, yeah, I gotta get back to that. Just wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Show you guys how I actually made that Sterilite media tray. I mean, really easy. So if you guys got any quick questions, I'm not seeing any here. So alright, not seeing any questions. So I appreciate you guys coming in, chatting, saying hello. And hello back to all you guys. Now it's time to say goodbye. But I appreciate you guys being here and watching and all that jazz. And Thursday I should have another video for you. So until then, peace.